Hey guys, Emzo Z111 here today. Um, for some reason, my Warframe is invisible, but that's not what this video is about. This video is about the grind. The grind that you have to do in order to get the Zephyr Warframe. Now, basically, this just means playing on Sedna, playing on Kappa, over and over and over and over again, because you need 600 Octium. And that's not even research, that's just the actual crafting costs. Now, research, on the other hand, if you have a huge dojo with lots of people in your clan, it can be thousands of Oxium. And Oxium, if you didn't know, you can only get it from one enemy. This enemy also has the capability to self-destruct, killing themselves, meaning you can't get the resources. They're really tanky, and they're only on the corpus side. They're like the little flying, what are they called? Why have I forgotten their name? The drones? They're not called drones, are they? Well, Oxium, Oxium carriers, or something like that. Ospreys, Ospreys, that's it. I don't know why it took me so long to remember that, but these things are absolutely ridiculous. And I think I may have crashed, so one moment. Oh, okay, am I in? Uh, I didn't ask for this. What has happened to Warframe? I, uh, I'm, I'm clueless. What the fuck? Where am I? There's one of the Oxium Ospreys, if you can see that shit. What the actual fuck? Uh... Can I even shoot that thing? Am I Whoa! Okay. Uh... How did I get here? Uh... Aha! Aha! Okay. <laughs> Is that sorted? <laughs> okay, I think that's finally sorted. I'm really sorry, I don't know what the hell happened there, but that was weird as hell. And, yeah, this is a mission. It's a mobile defense mission, if you didn't know. And it just involves hordes of corpus coming towards you and having to kill them. And, yeah. The only reason you do this mission is because there's such a huge amount of corpus enemies that there's a huge chance of having the Oxium Ospreys. So, it's basically the most efficient method of farming Oxium. So, you just get four Warframes with sort of huge AoE abilities and you flash farm. That's all you do. Now, each level or each run through of Kappa you do, you get about, I'd say if it's a good run, you get about 30 Oxium. But I've had runs where I get about 10 Oxium, even if I'm farming really well. It's all down to luck. That's all there is to it. So, think about that. 600 Oxium you need. And you need 600 Oxium, so if you're getting minimum of 10 a run and maximum of 30 a run, that's going to be at least 20 runs of Kappa. And that's considering if they're all good runs. Each run takes about... I'd say 20 minutes. So yeah, this is ridiculous. I don't know why they've made the resource cost so high, as well as the actual um, research. Wait, did I say research? No, I said resource. Resource cost so high for crafting, and then the actual research cost being so high it is ridiculous. And it's kind of put me at an impasse. I don't know whether I should just constantly play this level over and over again, because I have put a good 300 or so hours into Warframe now, and you know, just playing the same level over and over again is not something I want to be doing. It gives me a chance to try out my new weapons that aren't so powerful, like, once that... There, yeah, that was awesome. I mean, weapon... If I was doing, say, a Void Run or really high level mission like I usually do when I'm playing, then I'll take all my best equipment, so it doesn't give me a chance to try out new equipment as much, which I can just bring along on this mission and get easy XP for it, but still, it's... I wouldn't say it's fun, just farming it over and over again. And usually Warframe has been really good with making everything reasonable, or D have been great with doing it, but look, there's two of them, the Oxymo Sprays, and they're tanky as fuck, they can absorb my ultimate easily, when everything else just gets one shot by it, and by the time you actually get enough damage to kill them, they just fuck off and suicide, so you can't get Oxium from it. Each Osprey is it, uh, guaranteed to drop, but it will drop anywhere between 1 and 3 Oxium. So, let's see if I can kill this one, switch to my secondary, because I think it'll be more powerful against this thing. No, in fact, I think my shotgun was better. But there we go, there we go, there we go. Ah, and it suicided. Never mind. But yeah, it's ridiculous. So, I, I guess this is a rant. I mean, I'm just pissed off. In fact, if I want to play Zephyr without without actually paying Platinum, then I have to farm the same mission over and over again to get Oxium. It's not cool. Not cool at all. I didn't mind when you're farming bosses, because then at least it was a challenge. But this is just mindless grinding for Oxium, and I, I don't like it. You can't even use Oxium for anything else, despite or other than the collectors which you get for Prime Access. And even that's like 100 Oxium, so you'd have to play this mission 10 to, or between 5 and 10 times if you wanted to get the uh, little extractor drone from it. It's ridiculous. And 
Yeah, I kind of don't know whether or not I should just, as I said, keep playing this mission and rush to get Zephyr, or if I should wait until um, wait until the new update comes out with, say, Melee 2.0, the new combat system, the focus system, the lens system, all these new systems that are coming out. I don't know if I should wait, because right now it just feels like I'm really, really wasting time, and it's, it does give me an ex well, it gives me a reason to play new frames and try new equipment and stuff, but to get a new frame, it's kind of counterproductive. I think the mission is bugged out. I'm not 100% sure. Let me quickly look. What's going on over here? Are you serious? Nobody picked up the fucking data module. Why? They're all just too busy farming. But yeah, nearly every single person I've seen playing Kappa these days is only playing it to get Oxium. Is that Oxium? No, that's Alloy Plates. I mean, you also get Alloy Plates, Salvage, and I'm not sure what the rare resource is. Hell, it's probably Oxium, but not sure what the official rare resource is for this planet, but you get those as well, and I have them in excess. I, I'm never going to run out of alloy plates or salvage, not after playing this so many fucking times. Oops, I forgot to put it in there. My keyboard keeps falling off my laptop, so um, sorry if my movements are a bit sporadic, as you can see here. Let me quite try and fix that. Okay, there we go. No, you're still jumping. What's going on? Jesus. Oh my god. Okay, there we go. So, if any of you are still avid Warframe players, as I know some of you are, uh, how did you get Zephyr? Or did you let the ridiculous farming put you off getting Zephyr? Like, what's your approach to this whole thing? I don't know if I should wait for DE to reduce the resource costs for Zephyr. I, I really don't know. At least this person actually has a radar so we can see where the enemies are coming from. Because right now everyone is over here and there's a lot of enemies sort of going around. And yeah, we're gonna, we're probably going to lose this if they don't come and help. Let me quickly... Oh my god, look at that. Oh, the experience, the experience. Kaboom. Ah, uh, um, yeah, I'll talk about the equipment I am actually using for now. There we go, some Oxium. I'm using the Tigris, which is the double barrel shotgun, which has three shots, because I put the extended magazine mod on it, so it has three. If you click it once, it'll fire two, but then you can just click again for an awkward third shot. And I'm kind of experimenting with builds right now. But this weapon was insanely weak when I got it, but right now, it's only level 15, but it's actually holding up really well. I'm really liking it. If I can actually hit the enemy, I'm just missing terribly there. But it can one-shot most of these corpus. These corpus are only level 12 or so, but imagine what the shotgun's going to be like when it's level 30. I really wanted to use my ultimate there. God damn. Oh, I think those guys have got it, but who's down? Are these guys going to come and help? I know they're attacking the system, but I want to revive this guy, because not everyone has revived, so if he dies, he might be completely out. There we go. Oh, he was attacking He was attacking one of these little Oxium dudes. No, he's going to... Oh, okay. Wow, his carrier killed it. Fuck yes. Let me quickly go and get that Oxium. But yeah, like, if that's going to be... Yeah, one Oxium to kill one of those fuckers. And that's all it is. That's all bloody farming for Zephyr is. I hate it. So, this shotgun, Tigris, pretty cool. Liking it a lot. Mag Prime. I wasn't expecting to like Mag Prime at all, but I am liking Mag Prime a lot. I only really use this fourth ability, or her fourth ability, because it's fucking awesome. I just love ultimate abilities like that. And the third ability, Bullet Attractor, is pretty cool, but only for bosses. There's no point doing it on a mission like this. And it's only really for people with bad accuracy or with um, weapons that have sort of, uh, what's it called? A huge uh, recoil? Yeah, if they have a lot of recoil. God damn, that's the annoying thing. My ultimate doesn't even stun the little fucking Ospreys, so they can still suicide even whilst I'm using my ultimate ability, which sucks. And then I've talked about Tigress enough. For my secondary, I'm using Axe Stilettos, which came out somewhat recently, and you research them in the Tenno Lab. And these, I, I've never really used them too much. They just remind me of the Acfurus, but a little bit faster. And I think they fire bolts. They're pretty cool, I'm not going to lie. Just, if you ever have to rely on a secondary because you run out of ammo for your primary, then they're decent. But I very, very rarely run out of ammo on my primary weapon. So, yeah, that's the Axe Stiletto. In terms of damage, they're not too impressive. Again, only level 16, but I might as well just keep using my primary if I've got ammo for it. And I never run out of, yeah, I never run out of ammo, so, you know. And my final weapon, melee weapon, dual cameras. I talked about these in the previous interception video I did. And I don't like them. I still don't like them. They're just weak as shit. It's cool how you can Zoran Copters them, but look. Oh, so powerful. Yay. Yeah, I, why did I not just shoot it? There's no point having the dual cameras. I don't see the point in them. They don't have a smash attack. Their charge attack is also weak as shit. The only thing they have going for them is they look kind of cool. They're like dual scythes. And I've got the corrosive mod on them, so they're poisonous. That's the only thing they have going for them. And this mission 
even though I've said everything I need to say, it's still going on. It's only two thirds of the way through. I've now got to defend this bloody pod, and how much oxium have I got? About five, ten? No, I've, I haven't got ten, I've got about five oxium. So, I really don't think there's any point waxing lyrical anymore. Oxium, Zephyr, bullshit, that's all I really need to say. And Tigris, pretty cool, Mag Prime, awesome, Axtiletto, yeah, what was he? No, I, I thought it was going to slide under, can you actually slide under? No, you can't. Okay, yeah, but this has been me, Evans with Z11, please leave a rating if you enjoyed the video, and... Yeah, this video wasn't even meant to be a rant, it was just asking for your general thoughts on Oxium and on Zephyr and the method of farming it. So, do let me know what you think. This is me, Evans with Z111, out, and peace.